Okay, this video is going to be about uh, graphing the response of a, a filter. So we're going to have a low-pass filter here. And the way that you could do this would be to uh, set your um, generator to a particular frequency. This is, this is hertz. So set it to 100 hertz and then measure some voltage. And then set it to uh, 100k, uh, 1000 hertz, and, and, and measure some voltage. And, and you can measure these points. And then, you know, you could go back and maybe measure it in finer detail. And you could drop a plot and you could put it in Excel and do things like that. But what if we want to automatically measure this? What, what, can, we, what can we use to automatically measure this? So um, we're going to do a trick here. We're going to use a sweeping uh, generator. So the generator can automatically change its frequencies between 100 hertz and 1000 kilohertz. And it can sweep back and forth, okay? And as you sweep, you'll, you do something like this. You'll have a, a low frequency, and then it sweeps to a high frequency. Low to high, low to high, low to high. And so uh, we're going to be using a, a particular instrument over here. Um, let me move the camera so we can look at this a little bit better. We're going to be using the sweep function of this uh, 33120. So we're going to go into the menu system, and we're going to go to the sweep menu. We'll go down. We have a start frequency. We can set that to 100 hertz. Uh, we have a stop frequency. We can set that to 100 kilohertz. We have a sweep time. How, how many repetition, how, how long does a repetition take, right? And I have it set to 900 milliseconds, and I'll show you a reason for that. And uh, then one more parameter is, do you want to uh, sweep it linearly or log? And we're going to sweep it log. So we'll get a log plot with frequency. All right, and so let's go ahead and uh, get out of here. All right, so let's go back and look at our uh, sweeper thing. Okay, so this is the output of the generator. It's just uh, sweeping, and you can see that uh, it is the same amplitude regardless of the frequency, okay? Now, if we're gonna put it through a filter, it will change. So I have a filter over here. So that was the input to the filter. So let's measure the output of the filter. Okay, so I'm going to measuring uh, at this point over here. And now we can see that we're going from large amplitude to small amplitude, uh, if it would focus. And um, that's because at low frequencies it passes and then it rolls off at high frequencies. And so you can see the roll off here, okay? So how do we get a nice picture? How, how can we uh, get it to do things for us? All right, so there's a trick. And that trick is that the uh, generator itself has what's called the sync output. And so the sync output tells me what is the beginning of every single sweep. Every single sweep, there's a little low going pulse that comes out of the sync, all right? And I'm gonna bring that into channel four on my Rigel scope. And I'm gonna say trigger on channel four, okay? So now I'm gonna be triggering on channel four and you can say, well, th that didn't help much. Made it kind of worse, actually. All right. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to back up. I'm going to go in, uh, change the horizontal sweep. And there you go. Let me put the uh, trigger event over here on the, on the left. We can get a whole trigger event. There we go. And so it starts out big and it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Now, if I move my trigger over, you can see that it's going to repeat itself. All right, so here you can see it repeats, 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 repeats. And so from here to here is 100 hertz to 100 uh, kilohertz. And it's kind of moving around on us. So let's go ahead and see if we can't get this thing to be happy. Go here, and then let's go one more. You can see it's repeating here. And if we drop that repeating right off the edge of the screen, okay, I'm going to drop it right off the edge. Let's go ahead and get another sweep here. There we go. I'm going to have it so it just falls off this end. And you can see we're triggering here. Now, the reason I chose 900 milliseconds is this is 100. This is a thousand, this is 10,000, and this is a hundred thousand. So this gives us a graph of the filter um, real time 
every 900 milliseconds and we can see the shape of the filter. So let's go ahead and so if you can figure out some way to trigger on an event here, if you don't have a sync output, I don't, I don't know how to do it well. Maybe somebody's got a really, really good trick on how you, how you trigger here, maybe with hold offs and I don't know. There's lots of weird triggering modes in oscilloscopes. Maybe you can uh, reliably trigger on that front, but I haven't found a way, but the uh, generator has the sync output and I use the sync output to, to stabilize the, uh, stabilize the oscilloscope. So let's just kind of do a fun trick since we have it all up and running here. Let's go ahead and get a, um, a decade box for our resistor. We have a 1K resistor on night right now. So let's go ahead and take our uh, pull out that 1K resistor and we will insert our decade box. And let's see here. And now we need to put my scope probe back on so we can see things going on here. Okay, so I've put in the uh, decade box so we can see the uh, see the trace here. Let me go to 220, uh, 2.2K, 2.2K, 3.3K. 4.7K, you can see that the uh, the shape of the filter is changing, right? Uh, let's see here, let's go up to 6.8K. Uh, 33K, yeah, you can see the shape of the filter, okay? Let's go back to, uh, let's go back to 1K. Here's 1K, 680. Uh, 470 and 330. Uh, 220. Anyway, you can see. Um, so it's just a good trick if you have the available equipment. Um, it does require, like I said, you to be able to, to uh, synchronize uh, your sweep. Um, need to be able to have that uh, that sync pulse that comes out. Let me draw kind of a picture of it. So the generator generator is going to be doing wide and narrow, 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 narrow. And then it's going to actually output a, uh, and then it's going to repeat itself over here to get big again. So it outputs this uh, sync pulse at the beginning of every sweep cycle. And I have it set up so that this is uh, 900 milliseconds. And uh, yeah, that's the way, that's the way I do it. All right, so we'll be using this uh, technique in upcoming videos on uh, sweeping filters.